this tree is white ash. The bark is characteristic of having grooves or furrows in it with some ridges. Uh, it has a light colored wood. Uh, timber value wise, it has good timber value. Uh, the lumber can be used for a whole host of things from baseball bats to handles to uh, molding trim pieces for interior homes, even furniture or furnishings. So it has a good timber value and wildlife value, it does not have a lot of wildlife value. They may eat the seeds a little bit, but that would be about it. Um, I'm going to show you the leaves here. The leaves are what we call a compound leaf. In other words, they're, the leaf itself, which is all of this, is made up of five to seven different leaflets. Uh, which are these. So this whole piece is the leaf uh, which is made up of the leaflets. That's what we call a compound leaf. There are other species that have compound leaves uh, but ash is one, white ash is one of those species and all of the ash species have compound leaves. The seeds um, are kind of like maple seeds in this, the fact that they have the seed with the little wing but they do not have uh, the, like the, a big helicopter type thing as you see that always float down but they do have a similar looking seed to maple. Um, one thing if you have a tree identification course they will talk about the branching pattern of trees. Uh, there's two different ways a tree will branch. It'll be opposite or alternate. Uh, white ash is opposite branching pattern. In other words the buds are set on opposite of each other on the stem. So then when it creates branches then the branches take off from the main stem uh, across from each other. Uh, most other species are alternate. In other words, a bud would be here and then one here and then one here. So the, they would be staggered on the stem. So ash is one of those species that has opposite ball, branching pattern. Uh, maple is another one. So that's one way to distinguish ash if it has an opposite branching pattern. So this is white ash. Uh, it has a very good, good timber value. It's not a highly valuable timber tree, but it is a good value timber tree. It is planted a lot of time in towns, urban settings. Uh, does very well in those settings. One concern we have for ash trees is the emerald ash borer. It's a, it's a beetle that uh, the larvae bur bore into the under the bark of ash and actually will end up killing the tree by by going underneath the bark and killing the cambium layer of the tree. So it is one concern. There's been a lot of ash trees die uh, throughout the country, and that is one of our concerns. So this is white ash.